This video is on co-browsing facility which has been introduced to facilitate assistance by help desk to the taxpayer. In this video, we will cover the key steps in accessing the co-browsing facility by the taxpayers. Let us first understand what is co-browsing facility. Co-browsing facility allows the help desk agents to collaborate with the taxpayer's browser in real time just at the click of a button. On being permitted by the taxpayer, the help desk agents can view and securely co-navigate the user's browser and guide the taxpayer interactively to deliver a personalized support. Agents can also annotate the taxpayer's view of the screen, provide help to fill out the applicable income tax returns or statutory forms, provide help in changing the settings on the e-filing portal or completing transactions, they can find help and give directions on how to use the portal and various services available on it. The taxpayers at time worry whether the co-browsing facility is safe or not. So co-browsing facility is completely safe and it does not allow the agent to see any other data on the taxpayer's desktop or computer. The taxpayer is required to approve the request before the agents can start the co-browsing session and the taxpayer can also end the co-browsing session at any time. There are also queries that how co-browsing is different from screen sharing. Please note, co-browsing is a more convenient form of visual engagement and it does not require either the taxpayer or the agent to download any software. The help desk agents can quickly connect to the taxpayer's browser with a click of a button. However, in screen sharing, both the agent and taxpayer are required to install a third-party application before the screen can be shared. Furthermore, co-browsing provides a more private and secure experience for the taxpayers as the agent can only view the active window of the taxpayer's browser and nothing else. On the other hand, in case of screen sharing, user's entire desktop or any notifications that may pop up are visible to the agents during screen sharing. In co-browsing, the agent can execute specific actions on the client's browser, helping in quick resolution of queries. However, in screen sharing, the agents cannot take any action on the user's screen and only instructions can be provided during screen sharing session. Co-browsing feature comes with a very important feature called data masking that hides taxpayers' confidential data during a co-browsing session. Screen sharing facility does not provide data masking, allowing the agents to see everything which is displayed on the screen. So therefore, co-browsing is more safe and more personalized as compared to screen sharing. Let us now see step by step, how do we utilize this co-browsing facility? So when the taxpayer calls an help desk agent, the help desk agent can advise the taxpayer to access the co-browsing facility. The help desk agent can thereafter guide the taxpayer on the portal. But before that, a taxpayer is required to log into the e-filing portal by entering its user ID and password. The taxpayer may also be required to confirm the secure access message. Post login on the dashboard, the taxpayer can scroll down and go to the bottom right corner and click on co-browse help. On clicking on co-browsing help, a pop-up will appear on the screen which will say welcome to co-browsing. You are about to start a co-browsing session. By clicking agree, you provide your consent to the help desk agent to browse the e-filing website with you for required assistance. Or else the taxpayer can also click on get live help button. Please note that the session will be recorded. On clicking on agree button, a pop-up will appear which says you've requested assistance and a secure co-browsing session will be prepared to facilitate this request. The agent that will assist you will not be able to see any open tabs in your browser or sensitive information such as passwords. If the taxpayer clicks on connect, a support pin will be displayed on the screen. The taxpayer will be required to share this pin with the help desk agent on call. Once the help desk agent enters the pin shared by the taxpayer on the screen display to the agent and clicks the start session button, co-browsing session will start. Now the agent can annotate and guide the taxpayer. So therefore co-browsing is safe and simple and does not require any installations or plugins. It supports seamless navigation through portal, saves time and provides faster resolution. 
The help desk agents can also highlight and annotate important points for the benefit of the taxpayer. To know more, you can always visit our website www.incometax.gov.in or contact our helpline numbers.